Alright, everybody. Welcome to the last tea party of episode 8. Or Fimineko as well, I guess. Not just, I mean, that, that didn't make sense. But welcome to the last tea party of Fimineko when they cry. Uh, of the answer arcs of the whole series, right? Uh, now, you guessed it. What they have next to me? I have tea. Because of course I do. Because it's the last tea party. But it's not just any tea. It's hell grey tea. Okay? This is luscious tea. Okay? Mm. And it's from the exact same cup that I've been drinking from since the first episode tea party that I recorded a year and a half ago now. It's been that long since I recorded episode one. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm... I want to give you guys a sip. I feel like I typically give you guys a sip before I get to the, into the actual tea party. But I feel like the tea is still hot. I just made it a second ago. Let's see if it's still hot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check. It's going to burn my tongue. But we're going to do it anyway. Let's get a sip. Okay, yeah. It's still kind of hot. Alright, we'll just like, let it stay there for about 10 seconds. Quite, no, what am I saying? A minute. Sorry. <laughs> and then we'll get on to the tea party. The last tea party. Hope you're seeing this. Uh, hope you're seeing the screen. Oh no. We went on to the music anyway, so that didn't help. We went on to the opening. Alright, let's go back. Okay. So I uh, hope you're seeing this now. I'm scrolling through all the things so that you hopefully will be able to see the tea party now. If you don't, that's fine. I'll read it out. It says. Tea party, please pull up a seat and wind down was a sojourn on Rockin' Jiva Pleasant One. The Golden Witch has gifted you with an invitation to a tea party. The Golden Witch has gifted me with an invitation to the final tea party, you should say. I hope that you will participate. I will. I will. Uh, here we go. The last tea party. And the last time I'll ever be making tea for an Uminako video. Yeah. Alright, let's get to it. Well, that's unless I read the... Unless I read the... Does the manga version have tea party? If I ever read the manga version, then I'll get to the tea party there and then I'll make tea for that. Instant. Oh, we're in the city box. Okay. Okay. Ah, the tea is good. Alright. I'm excited to meet some peeps. Featherine's uh, study. The majestic witch of tea going. Drama and spectating set down her pen. Looked at the ceiling and sighed deeply. Okay, what's up, Featherweed? The desk was covered with a scattered mountain of paper covered with writing. Words are packed onto the pages in a thin, high information density language that only the great ones could read. <laughs> only the wise ones can read this. Each letter of this language carried the same amount of information as several books in the human world. What? I didn't know that. These letters filled. These letters filled every inch of this huge pile of paper. So you're telling me that th that that describes the cereal box? Then this is the cereal box in in this form, in paper form. Surely she had written out every little detail of some world. <laughs> I don't think if H works here. Holy crap! It's actually it's actually working now. The T the H pressing H works. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Right, anyway, I'm glad to see that H finally works. She stood up, sat down in her favorite rocking chair, and rocked peacefully for a while. It's not possible. Uh, uh, the is good. Yeah? Yeah, the Oh, that could take a while. That could take over a thousand chapters. <laughs> that could take over a thousand episodes. I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. When does it stop? Who knows? It could take 30 years. 
始めから終わりまでが全て冒険であり筆を置くところなど存在しないと言ったが私はそうは思わない。Is this Rikishi's old friend? Like, Rikishi's talking about you know, his real life friend, he's, into, he's, he's inserting himself into Featherine, and he's saying that he disagrees. And that's why you haven't revealed the answers to us? It's crazy. Uh, Alright. Featherine spoke to no one inside the empty study. Oh, she's speaking to me. It's a fourth fall break. I hear her. Of course, no one commented on her words. However, Featherine seemed to hear something. She nodded and grinned contentedly. <laughs> There's a point where he pants. God damn, yeah. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye, that song, right? Ah, let me just drink a little bit more tea. I know I annoyed the hell out of y'all. I've done this for seven episodes now. Y'all are used to this on the, in the tea parties. Because it's time to say our goodbyes. It's, this is the last time I drink, I'll be drinking tea. You, better, you know I'm making it an obnoxious time, right? There's a point where it tapes, there's a point where it bends, there's a point where it breaks, and a point we just can't take anymore. Featherine held up a finger and spun it around, a signal that she wanted to darken the room. Oh, that's what Beta did at the end of the episode. Ah, the lights in the study dimmed. <laughs> Okay. Alright, Burn, entertain us. You were the, one of the game masters of this past game, after all. What you got for us? <laughs> Lambda, I miss you, so she did bring her back. Ah, oh, that's nice, Featherine. Alright, okay. I, I mean, I, I'm happier that Lambda's here. She's probably gonna entertain me more than Burn. Needle? That's probably gonna hurt quite a bit. <laughs> no machines. Oh. Damn. Pause. Pause! Eh! Burn! Oh, so that's what they were doing! Hey, hey, H! H is finally working, wait, H is finally working. Look at this dialogue here! No! No machine! I want you to do it by hand! <laughs> so please, just a bit more gently! Ow, oh, wow! And then Burn goes on to say, It's nothing a little spit can't fix! Hey, yo! She wilding. Yes, that, that was me taking off my he my my, he my headphones and then drinking right next to the microphone. All right, burn is wilding. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> it's not the only thing I can fix. I, I'm I'm very mature. I know. Let me let me be. All right. Let me be mature while I can. Okay. Can. Huh? Uh, nah, nah, they're, they're doing it on purpose at this point. 
They, what is this dialogue? They did it on purpose, but I can't drink tea. Now I can't think, you're ruining the tea, man. Like, listen, you two can have fun. Hey, yo, Featherine, this is the entertainment you were talking about? I thought I was reading a visual novel. I didn't think I was reading some erotica. What the, what? Bro. Alright. <clears throat> hey, yo. Okay. Oh, baby, man. <laughs> Why are you doing this? To me? I'm trying to drink tea. What, what tea party is this? This ain't no tea party. This is a freaking orgy party. I mean, it's only it's only two girls here. Yeah, that's another thing. They are. They look like children. I mean, they're they're a thousand years old though, but they do look like children. Yeah, it's kind of yikes. Actually. Let's move on, let's move on. Let's move on. Not, not, nothing is happening. Okay, yeah. It's kind of a yikes. This, this, all this is a yikes. I'm, I, I'm drinking tea. That, that's all that's happening right now. Nothing, nothing else is going on. Nothing, no yikes things is going on. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah. Burn does not know consent, that's crazy. But despite all this, the two of them truly were close. Yeah, may maybe a bit too close. <coughs> oh, man! Oof, yeesh. Though Landa had been brutally dismembered in the final fight, she had survived. <laughs> she looks like she's getting dismembered again. Internally, okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Moving on, but unfortunately she was dismembered. Hey, wait. Oh, oh, that's why she needs the needle to sue her. Okay, I gotcha. So Burn was suing her arms and head back on with a needle and, th and thread. Okay, but for real though, for real though. I want you to do it by hand, so please just a bit more gently. Ah, wow. It's nothing a little spit can't fix. Yep! Tell me before you start licking me all of a sudden. I'm going to see up with a long fat needle now. It'll hurt like hell, so you'd better close your eyes. <sighs> Alright, uh, okay, moving on. Moving, uh, uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. Wild dialogue right there. Alright, moving on. <clears throat> the left arm, which was still waiting to be reattached, walked around on the bed impatiently with its index and middle fingers. <laughs> I can imagine that. Only the arms were left to do. St only the arms were left to do. So it looked like this would be finished soon. Then Erica returned, slammed the door open. Erica returned just after being done with Angie in the in the trick ending. Oh my God, I the daima. Okay, Erica. Let me drink some tea for you. Sesame salt. So it hurts, duh. Rub salt on the wood, obviously. Classic. Wait, I'm drinking tea right now! It's about to be finished though. I'm, I'm, I've almost drank it all, but you know. I, I, I drunk it all, but you know. It, it, you know. We're getting there. <laughs> hey, Erika and her chopsticks, man. You know, that's a good that's good for you. Wielding? Damn. I, I want to drink the last of the tea, everybody. <laughs> I've drank it all already. Ah. I hope you heard that. That was, that was the sound of my cup. Me laying down the cup. And there we go.
that is that is the last tea I ever drink for an Minako tea party. It's last tea party ever. Ah oh, man, man, we've come a long way. Okay, anyway. The mailman. The letter. <laughs> Tegami? <laughs> Dlanor? Oh. Well, yeah, of course, they're in love, Burn. <laughs> no, Colonel, that wasn't as good. That was not as good as Burn, alright? Eric and Angie killed it. A Eric and Angie killed those lines. That was not good, Burn. That was not good. <laughs> That's my line, Wagaruchi! Wagaruchi! Nya nya! Hiyai hiyai! What? Hey yo, hey yo, wait, 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 wait. But Will is the detective of episode 7. How, how are you gonna take his one of his rules? Oh. Nah, she is the night hunter, okay? She's she is the go. She is the go detective. <laughs> I like how Lambda's still summer, so you just see like a like a like a little like black screen on the side here with just her head. <laughs> Cause you wait, I thought her head was still intact by now. I thought it was her arms that were separated. Oh well, the effect is still there. We get it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oh no, I've seen this happen before. Oh no! <laughs> Where have I seen this before? <laughs> it's time to. <laughs> Lambda Delta is certain to win because she's the sweetest certainty. Ha! Uh -huh. Erica grinned and grabbed Lambda's left arm that was walking around the dead. The bed. Hey yo! Erica grinned and wiggled her fingers menacingly. Wait, she's not actually going to rub salt on the wound, is she? Don't rub salt on the wound, that's painful. Oh, okay, that's what she's doing. Never mind. Right, right. She's just rubbing her armpit, I'm guessing. Rubbing her armpit. I thought she was gonna rub, because she's brought in sesame salt. I was like, what's up? You're gonna rub salt and do it? Okay, no, okay. Tickling the, uh, the armpit or something, sure. She tickled the open end of Lambda Delta's left arm. Wait, what? Not, not the, not the armpit. Isn't that like the, the very end? I guess that would be part of the, that would be part of the torso, would it? Rather than the arm. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, she was extremely ticklish there. Incidentally, the open end of Lambda Delta's arm was cute and fluffy with white cotton candy poking out. Poking out. <laughs> Apparently her body was made out of sweet candy, with a bit of spice thrown in. Ooh, spice. Spicy. <laughs> Put your mind at ease, as there is nothing remotely terrifying about her severed arm. Thank you, uh, narrator. <laughs> or featherine, I don't know at this point. Erika ran around, screaming, I've defeated Lady Lambda Delta all by myself, just like Wagaruchi. My master. Lambda Delta growled and hissed at her. Burn kept on seeing an exasperated... An, an exasperated look on her face. It was a very peaceful scene. 
surprisingly peaceful after everything that's happened in the visual novel between these three, <laughs> or in different scenes. Tegami? No, it's Dranor uh, confessing her love to uh, er Erika, obviously. Oh, congratulations! Congratulations! You know, it's not a, a, a letter of love, it's, it's actually like an update. I guess! <laughs> Erika's a menace, yo. Erika's a menace, she's like, I guess, congratulations, I don't know. She's still a bum. <laughs> Promo promotion? I don't care about her. <laughs> a meow woof? A one yan? What's a, what's a meow woof for a one? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna Google that real quick. In addition to her cat. One yan. I thought the cat was Diana. That's a. Uh, it's a character from Genshin Impact. Are you serious? One yan is a character from Genshin Impact. Bruh. She's this ponytail girl with glasses. What am I looking at? Hey, hey, man, listen. The Wanyan clan was among the clans of the Haishui Mohe tribe. Tribe? What? In China? And she's also a Genshin Impact character. Hey, what's a Meow Wolf? I guess Wanyan is the name of her Meow Wolf. What's a Meow Wolf? I I googled Meow Wolf. I did not. I did, I did not find any answers. No cap to you. Okay, alright. Sure, she now has a meow wolf. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you for asking that question, Burn. Uh, I guess I am. They, they have? Okay, this is 2000 and what, 2010, I think, when this episode came out. When this episode 8. So, 2010. They were all the rage back then, 2009-ish, right? late 2000s, let's say. That was 13 years ago. Mm. Would kid me back then have known what this was? Eh. Eh. No, I don't know to me how it is. Congrats, I guess. <laughs> gotcha, just like Erika. <laughs> oh yeah, the things you showed off at the at the end of the episode there. Homemade food. Hmm. Did she also get promoted? Nice, she looks kinda like determined, kinda Whew, I'm ready to go! Whew. I'm glad they're giving a conclusion to all these like side characters, background characters that aren't really that important, but you know, they kinda hey, listen, listen, look, Cornelia and Gertrude, they have their conclusion. ギッターって色々あるわよ。何始めたの Let's go, that's the goat. The protagonist of episode 7. What's up with Will? Okay, income from his real estate investments. Okay, Will, real estate, that's what you're doing. I see you, okay, okay. Businessman and that, okay. And Leon? Wait, okay, why, why did Leon pop up the moment he said he's playing badminton? Is he playing badminton with Leon? Is Leon ch trying to be a professional badminton player? Or is Leon just poking, uh, poking uh, Will's cheeks? And that's why he's making that uncomfortable face. 
Uh, he's, he looks like he's uncomfy, and Leon looks like uh, he's uh, she's she's uh, he uh, same thing. They uh, are uh, you know they're m messing with him, <laughs> like they're kind of punishing Will for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, coach, got it. That's the coach. <laughs> probably very swollen, bro. Next time we see Will, it's probably going to be thick. Just because Leon pinches his butt so much, his cheeks are gonna end up being hella thick, bro. <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, what about your wife? Wifey, wifey. Ah. 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 Oh! Oh, what just happened there? <laughs> Eric has a great Lano voice. Oh man, good voice. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Uh, my glasses. Okay, we're good. I mean, she says that, Erika says this. Dang. Oh, what are those three doing? Plus the dead one. What happened? What about 556? Five, five, the dead one. What are they doing? <coughs> to bully her. Now you're gonna marry her. Is that actually what's going on, by the way? Uh, is there an actual relationship between Eric and Lanor, or am I just making that up? Based on just a misunderstanding of a prior conversation. What? Burn! Shut up! Like Piccolo style from Dragon Ball Z, the way he grows his arm back. <laughs> Regrown. No, I already drank the tea, but I didn't drank it. It's the. Oh man, you tell me now is the time I'm supposed to drink tea? Man. Oh well, not much of a tea party. If, I, if I already drank my tea. I'm not drinking the tea with the characters, I just drank it on my own while reading the tea party. Man. With this particular journey over and done with, the Voyager witches rested their wings. It was all so that they could leave on a new journey in search of the next fragment. A short break between trips, backdrop by the pleasant scent of black tea. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Isn't that what they said? Oh! This, I think I remember them saying this in Higurashi Sotsu! I mean, uh, it was Rika and Satoko, they said this in Sotsu! Yeah, yeah, I think a line of this, like this was said in Sotsu. Now again, it's been a year and a half since I watched Higurashi Sotsu because that's when it came out. But I think I remember this in Sotsu. I think I remember Rika telling uh, Satoko that she was gonna if she if she, if she goes north and uh, Rika heading south. I think so. I think I remember this. Yes. I think I remember Satoko answering like that too. I think I remember this. Then if you go east, I'm heading west. But what's west of Westeros? I know, it's villains. The country that war, slaves, you have no enemies. <laughs> What's the best reason? It's villains! Villain saga! Okay, I hope you can find another charming tale like this one. Okay. Hmm. Don't 
かけらの海は狭いわ天井さじってかけらの海は広大だわ殻の中に流動 What? Is that a reference? Ghost, ghost in a shell? And what did she say earlier? She say earlier? It was that another Children of Paradise. I've never heard of that movie. Of course, I've heard of Ghost in the Shell. I've seen it as well. I've never watched Stand Alone Complex, the series, but I've seen the movie. Children of Paradise, she said, right? It's a 1945 film. And it's also a book. That's, that's old. 1945. Of course, I've never heard of it. 1945 film, bro. It's like 50 years before I was, I was even born. How, how in the hell am I supposed to have heard of this? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Okay, what about this? Ghost in the Shell does give me... Yeah, okay, it gives me the 1995 film. Yeah, I've, I've seen that film. I didn't particularly like it that much, I'll be honest. Um, like, was this... It was, it was alright. I, I, I think, you know, that movie, I think if I'd... If I'd watched it when I was younger, or, you know... If I didn't watch a bunch of other, you know, I know I know it was ahead of its time. I know it inspired a lot of movies. I think it inspired The Matrix even, if I heard, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I think Ghost in the Shell. If if I had watched, if it was like the first sci-fi movie that I'd watched, I probably would have loved it. You know what I mean? But I'd seen things that covered a similar concept before. So I didn't have as much appreciation for it, even even though I do think it's like it's probably the first of its kind, or the first of its kind in that sense, the way it was done. But I don't know, man. Like I don't know. I watched it pretty late in my, uh, in my career. Anyway, let's keep let's keep reading. Nice movie references by Burn. <laughs> When something else cries, ah! First, it was when the cicadas cried, right? Then, now, it's when the seagulls cry. What's next? What's a Kikonia? Isn't that, is it a Kikonia? Are Lambda or and Burn cursing Kikonia? Are Satoko and Rika cursing Kikonia? What does Kikonia mean? Because Higurashi is obviously... Is, uh... Is, um... Is Cicadas, right? Cicada when they cry, right? I, I think so. I think so. it's like when they, I think Higurashi means cicada, and Mineko means um, when when the cicadas cry, yeah. And uh, and uh, Mineko means seagulls, right? But it can also be sea cats, Umi Neko, and Burn is a cat, so uh, so when the seagulls cry is, is Mineko, right? Seagulls cry. Okay. So what's what's Kikonia? What does Kikonia stand for? I know Kikonia is the next entry in the series. I know it's like Umineko 5, I think. Not Umineko 5, sorry. Uh, it's uh, when they cry 5. Because Higurashi is when they cry 1 and 2. Umineko is when they cry 3 and 4. And Kikonia is when they cry 5. So like, but what does the name mean? I'm looking at Wikipedia. It's an episodic visual novel game series in development by 7th Expression, collectively considered the 5th entry, entry in the When the Cry series following Higurashi and Umineko. I'm right about that. It follows people trying to prevent the outbreak of World War 4. What?! <laughs> oh yeah, I think I remember my friend telling me about that. Because my, my friend read the start of it. Of, uh, yes, he read the start of it even before he even finished Umineko, I know, right? He was interested in knowing what it was about, so he read the start of it, I think. And he told me it was about world, like literally World War. But it's World War 4, not even World War 3, World War 4. Alright. It was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Ah, The second was to release in 2020, okay. But what does Kikoni mean? This does not answer my question. It is meant to be different from Higurashi Nimineko, with a larger world compared to their isolated settings. I see. Uh, and with the intent that the player can choose to just enjoy the story or optionally try to solve the mystery themselves. A change influenced by the 95 enemies in Genesis Evangelion. So, but it's not the same as Higurashi and Mineko, where like you can try, you can choose to enjoy the story, or you can also try to solve the mysteries, right? The story setup was also designed to be more condensed, with episode one roughly corresponding to the first half of Mineko in terms of plot progression. Ooh, really? Okay. Okay. So, the first half, so the question marks of Umineko correspond to episode 1? 
That's crazy. That's with how much happened in the first trips of Minako. Interesting that that he decided to do it all in the um, in just the first steps of Kikonia. And if Kikonia ends up being four question arcs and four answer arcs, or just like in uh, Higashi Minako, then I wonder how it's gonna go. It started in 2019, right? Okay. Yeah, the first phase of released in 2019. That's very recent, actually. Very, very recent. So, okay, then how about, uh, what, what does Kikonia mean? Seth after the end of World War III. What does Kikoni mean, though? I'm trying to, I'm trying to find out, y'all. Okay, what does Kikoni mean? I'm just gonna share with you. What does Kikoni mean? Birds? More birds? You already had birds with, with, with seals. Why do you need birds? What does Kikoni? I've never heard of birds called uh, Kikonia, by the way. Kikonia when they cry. Let's see. Doesn't doesn't. But why Kikonia? Wait, Ryukishi reveals Kikonia has four episodes in total. It says, ah. Oh. It doesn't say mean Kikonia in total will be shorter. Okay, that's true. I guess. But okay, I guess that's true. Okay, how about this? Yeah, okay, I, I, I guess Kikonias are these birds. What's the difference between a Kikonia and a... and a seagull? Kikonia. When I Google Kikonia, the, the thing that comes up is mostly, uh... obviously the septic expansion visual novel, but I also see some birds. And when I Google seagull, I get birds that look similar enough to Kikonias, but they look different. They look fatter and shorter than Kikonias. Kikonias look taller. Okay, anyway, anyway, I've wasted enough time reading that. Let's go. And something else cries. When, when the Kikonias cry, and then the seagulls. Wait, is that the part is ending? Already? Already? The tea party can't be that short. See you again. Is it that short? That's it? Are you serious? I was expecting this to be long. That took me like half an hour to read. Well, it took me longer than half an hour because I was babbling quite a bit at the end there, but... It did take me roughly. Okay, that was the tea party. Wow. All right, time to give you guys a forty-minute video. Yeah, take it or leave it. To be fair, last video was almost three hours long. Y'all deserve this. Now nah, y'all deserve. I don't care. Y'all deserve. Last video was two. Was three hours long. It was two hours and fifty minutes long, with the whole hints thing. So you get that. Take that. All right. You you take what you can get. Okay. All right. Tomorrow is the ending, the unhuman party. Here we go, it says new right there. There I go. You're gonna get that tomorrow, alright? That's it. I'm not, yeah, you think I'm gonna start reading it early? I bet you want to start reading it right now, but not tomorrow. Alright, that's it. You, I, I think I think I gifted y'all a three hour video. You, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take that, bro. I, I will take it. Alright, so uh, after, I'll, 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 the unhuman party will come tomorrow, okay? We'll read the rest of the unhuman party. Hopefully, uh,. Hopefully that'll be nice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Um, this this tea part is this is what is enjoy reading it. And you know, what? I drank the tea about fifty percent through the tea party. So I'll say, usually the tea I drink within the first couple minutes, like within the first um, it, 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 within five percent into the tea party. But n now I've drank it within fifty percent of the tea party, and I'd say like that's probably the lot the most. Uh, the tea party where I had the most concentrated tea drink compared to the length of the tea party uh, I, I would say that that's the most out of any other episode so yeah there you go All right, next time meet me for the uh, question mark question mark question mark question mark also known as the onion party as I like to call it I'll see you guys there uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. alright y'all um and that's where we'll end Umineko when they cry. 
officially. The visual novel will officially end next time. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, y'all. Peace.